in this video we will see how different coordinate systems in 2d and 3d are defined and how they are related with each other so first we will start with cartesian coordinates in two dimensional space so suppose in a two dimension plane we have this one point here let us call that point as p now we have to give its coordinates means we have to give its location so we will give its location or coordinates with reference to one point let us call that point as o or origin so we will give coordinates of this point p with respect to this point o so first we will consider a line horizontal line passes through point o and we'll call that line as x axis <clears throat> then a vertical line passes through point o we will call that line as y axis so here this x axis and y axis these are unique lines those passes through point o okay there is only one line horizontal line which passes through point o and there is only one vertical line which passes through point o because we are in a plane now so here we will form a rectangle such that whose one vertex is our point p and the diagonally opposite vertex of that rectangle is point o so here now this is the rectangle then the width of the rectangle that is this distance here along x axis that is our x coordinate and its length that is this distance along y axis is a y coordinate so this is how coordinates of this point p are given so here coordinates of p are x comma y now next we'll see polar coordinates in 2d so we will consider our same point p and try to give its coordinates or location in polar coordinates okay so here also we are going to give its coordinates with reference to one point now here we'll call this point as a pole in previous case we called that point as a origin okay so here this o is our pole now a line which passes through pole and horizontal line so that line is called as initial line or we can call this as our positive x axis and the line which is perpendicular to initial line or we can call that as our positive y axis now here in previous case we have form we have drawn a rectangle which whose one vertex is p and diagonally opposite vertex is origin now in this case in polar coordinates we will draw a circle whose center is pole and which passes through the point p this okay now here this is a circle whose center is pole and point p lies on that circle now here we know that the point p lies on this circle okay so this circle will have some radius let us take that radius as r where this vector is called as a radius vector or we can call that as a position vector of point p so now this point p is at a distance r from pole but as you can see there are infinitely many points every point on this circle is at a distance r from the pole so only r will not give us this unique point p now r is going to give us all the points which are at distance r from the pole now 
to uniquely determine this point we will draw this vector radius vector which passes through point P and will measure the angle of that radius vector with positive x-axis and we will measure that angle in anti-clockwise direction so let us call that as ang that angle as theta now you can see here with this theta there is only one vector which, which passes through the pole and having angle theta with positive x-axis okay so now our point p lies on the circle as well as it lies on this vector okay that means it lies on their intersection so therefore and their intersection is a unique point and this is how we can give coordinates of this point p so here the coordinates of point p are r and theta where r represents a circle of radius r r tells us that point p lies at a distance r from the pole okay and theta tells us that it lies on a line or lies on a vector whose angle with positive x-axis is theta and which passes through pole and p so this is how we give polar coordinates now next we'll see relation between cartesian and polar coordinates so in previous case we have seen that so if you take the projection of this point p on x-axis or initial line we get this point Q and we know that the distance is X because this is the same point that we have seen in previous case that is Cartesian coordinates in 2D then let us take projection of this point P on y, uh, this initial line perpendicular to initial line that is our Y axis so which is R and now we know that this distance OR is Y okay <clears throat> now let us consider this right angle triangle O Q P this is a right angle triangle here now in this right angle triangle cos theta okay cosine of theta is what it is adjacent side upon hypotenuse so cos theta is x upon r which implies and sin theta sin theta is opposite side upon hypotenuse so it is y upon r because this distance pq is same as ro therefore and one more thing the theta here this theta will vary over the circle full circle therefore theta varies from 0 to 2 pi alright so limits of theta are from 0 to 2 pi so here we got these two relations cos theta is x upon r and sin theta is y upon r therefore x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta so using this relation we can convert polar coordinates to cartesian coordinates and from this if you take a square of these two equations x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta and take their sum we'll get r square is equal to under r square is equal to x square plus y square that means r is equal to under root x square plus y square because we are going to take this r as a positive value okay non-negative value not positive non-negative value therefore so r is under root x square plus y square and theta is equal to so if you divide this y by x r r will get cancelled and in right side we will get tan theta therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x so here we can get polar coordinates from Cartesian coordinates all right so this is how we can go from Cartesian to polar as well as we can go from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates so this is about two dimensional